to do is just pull this up off of our mat and we do have that little sticky tape there and you can just discard of that you don't need this stuff to be sticky you don't need all of that and flick this and do a couple of flicks like this here and we are done go to the back hit that and there you have it your beautiful rhinestone template is ready for you to put rhinestones on it and look y'all you don't have any mess trying to get your t-shirt business started but you really don't know where to turn well i'm latana robinson the lady print boss i teach people how to boss up and how to grow their business and make six figures if you don't believe me then go ahead and google me honey if you're ready to boss up make sure that you subscribe do you want to learn how to make beautiful rhinestone templates you want to be able to do it fast and efficiently and cheaply in today's video i'm going to show you one of my secrets to how i make my rhinestone templates out of cardstock i stopped doing rhinestone templates some time ago y'all but when i was doing rhinestone templates we did not use sticky flop we used cardstock this is a cardstock that i'm using to make these rhinestone templates you'll be able to do intricate designs like this one look at that look at how perfect those circles are i'm pretty sure that you've seen a bunch of other videos and you've seen all the hassles that people have when they're using cardstock this is not one of those videos this is a boss up video where you're going to learn my tip to getting these rhymes the getting the little circles off of my mat so most people when they are using cardstock they start out and they may use the wrong cardstock to start. just going to use cardstock for our template material now in order to use cardstock you need to have a nice thicker cardstock and i'd say this is probably around 220 gms are 85 pounds but the one that i like in particular that i'm using is this one and this is made by color block now this is the back of this right this is the back but this is the same cardstock one's coated and this one is coated and this is not so you want to buy this brand but you want it to be coated because the uncoated cardstock when you get ready to lift your rhinestones it will cut your rhinestones but when you get ready to lift your rhinestones it will stick to your sticky block paper so you want version i'm going to stick this to the side and we are going to show you a couple of things now this is my mat this is my mat the key to making a perfect rhinestone template that's going to just come up nice and easy like you've seen at the beginning of the video is to be able to just lift it up and you don't want it to stick to your mat so you know that clear piece that came with your mat that clear piece that comes all around your mat that came with your mat take that piece and stick it on there and if you have to I have mine taped on each side um, of the mat here on the back I have a little piece of tape going across here and going across this side if you've lost that piece then just get uh, some clear transparency film and cover your mat with that and then that way you don't have to deal with the sticky now i know that you're saying but miss latana if it's not sticky the rhinestones are not going to come up don't worry about that you're going to see differently in this video that it will work so what i want you to do we're going to just take some tape 
and once you have because this is not going to stick to the mat now so you're just going to take some tape and all we're going to do is just put a couple of pieces of tape on the back of our mat be really really easy y'all really really easy this is how you're going to do rhinestones for production you don't have time as a business to be sitting up and scraping mats or going through all types of headaches just to get a rhinestone template out so now that we have that there we're just going to take that on to our mat and I'm just going to take it here now we already have something here so I'm just going to put a little circle here and show you so what I'm using I am using the silhouette cameo and I am going to just push this into my cameo that into the cameo and I'm going to send this over to cut and I think okay y'all so our so our design is finished cutting and we're just going to go ahead and remove it from the mat and so this one is the one that was already on here and this is the one that we're going to work with and I'm going to just grab up some of these stones before we get started make sure that you like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you like this video so that you know when I'm going live or when I post another video because I'm going to do a full tutorial on my settings and give you the, the different tips for setting up your cameo so that you can get your design come out easily like this so this is the one here and so all we're going to do is just pull this up off of our mat and we do have that little sticky tape there and you can just discard of that you don't need this stuff to be sticky you don't need all of that and I'm gonna flick this and do a couple of flicks like this here and we are done go to the back hit that and there you have it your beautiful rhinestone template is ready for you to put rhinestones on it and look y'all you don't have any mess no mess and so you can just slide that off. It's very, very easy. Consider yourself bossed up today, honey. Consider yourself bossed up. This will save you so much time and speed up your time that it takes you to print this. So what I'm going to do, we're not going to put the back on here. I'll do that in the class. But just to go through and do this we're just going to tape this down so that it doesn't move and the key is this glossy side y'all the key is this glossy side because you can take this glossy side um, and so we're just going to take this and put this down and I don't have a, any particular thing for my rhinestones I just have this little muff which is actually um, this actually comes off of a microphone so you can find you know anything furry or a little sponge and you're going to be able to brush those rhinestones in real easy now today these are the rhinestones that I'm going to use these rhinestones came from Shine Art. Shine Art is known for premium quality Korean 
rhinestones. So we're going to use these stones today. These are ones that I've had for, I've had these stones for probably about uh, seven or eight years at least. And when rhinestones went out of style, people were not ordering them anymore. I just kept these. So these are the ones that we're going to use today. And I like to over pour. I like to over pour on my rhinestones, y'all. So we have the rhinestones there. And all we're going to do is take our little muff here. And I'm just going to start rubbing. I'm just going to start rubbing them into the rhinestones and I'm going to rub it really lightly and these are the wrong I did pull out the wrong size rhinestones for this video as you can see these are not my 10 SS rhinestones these are 6 SS rhinestones and had I used my little rhinestone template I would have known that but we're going to use these and we'll make we'll make this work because the stones are smaller it will still work um, as long as your stones are not bigger than your template but this will work using um, smaller stones and in fact I have done this before when I've just been out of the stones that I needed I've actually just used smaller stones in the same template so we have some pieces down here that got caught and I'm gonna just zoom in for y'all this is the mask that I'm going to use and I've had it for so long I don't remember where it came from so we're gonna just fill it apart and the key to doing this is that when you drop it just drop it y'all like literally just drop it it caught on my finger because I have some glue stuck to my finger and we're just going to take it and go across it and so once you take it and kind of go across it you're fine now you could do this if you are using a mask that does not stick very well but this one sticks excellently notice that we did not have to use our pick tool to put any rhinestones in here this is a smaller design and sometimes you'll have designs that do require you to lift a couple of stones look at how easily this comes up off of here look at how easily that comes up and it's not pulling up the the smoothness of the paper it's not ripping the paper or anything like that this is coming up really nice and easy and all we have to do now is take this and put it I believe it's cut that way take it and just drop this down and now we have a beautiful little heart rhinestone that we can use at whenever we're ready we can use this now I like to go ahead and push this down because rhinestones do have a tendency to move um, when they're on the sticky material so I like to kind of push mine down and there we have it and another tip y'all is that if you have any extra pieces that are out like around here we're just going to cut that off because you don't want that when you go and you throw these around like if you're not going to do that you may have this laying around somewhere you don't want it sticking to other rhinestone templates if you like this video please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when the rhinestone classes are going live um, I am now offering channel memberships and these classes are offered in the ch under the channel memberships there are some that are members only but there are also some that are for regular subscribers thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video